Hi, my name is Adenike Adewi, and I'm an MD PhD student at Northwestern University. And my name is Eric Hurley. I'm a PhD student in biomedical engineering at Northwestern University. Eric and I are both graduate student researchers at the Center for Bionic Medicine, located at the Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago. And we're interested in research that deals with the control of powered partial hand prosthesis. And here at CBM, we have done a lot of exciting and promising work dealing with the control of prosthesis for individuals who have lost a part of their arm. And in this research, we're applying these techniques and these approaches to control prosthesis for individuals who have lost a part of their hand as opposed to a part of their arm. Now we can control these devices using electrodes that pick up the electric signals generated by the muscles when we naturally move. And here in my hand, I have a cuff um, that has these dome-like electrodes embedded and spaced along the cuff that can pick up these signals um, and can be placed on the forearm like Eric has on. With this cuff on, you can see that when I do a movement such as opening my hand, the muscles in my arm generate an electrical signal uh, that has a specific pattern. When I do a different movement, such as closing my hand, you can see that the muscles in my arm are creating a different type of pattern, and there's a different pattern associated with every movement of my hand. Using advanced computer algorithms, we can take these patterns uh, and recognize the original movement of my hand, and take that and use it to control an artificial hand like the one here on screen. And you can see that I'm able to open the hand and perform different grasps simply by doing the associated movement with my hand. So individuals who have lost a part of their hand often retain the ability to move their wrist. And this ability is critical and necessary for activities of daily living, such as picking up a fork or opening a doorknob. Now imagine if I wanted to pick up my morning cup of coffee, but I couldn't move my wrist. I would have to then move other joints like my elbow or my shoulder to pick up that coffee. Now this, um, this additional movement can be fatiguing and can be tiresome. You can see that when performing all of these movements with my wrist in a natural and relaxed position, it's very easy for me to move the hand on screen. However, if I move my wrist into an extended position like this and then try and perform the same type of movements, the algorithm is suddenly not able to determine the movement of my hand, which is an issue for controlling a prosthetic device. And so one of our, our goal in this project is to improve these algorithms such that they would allow good control of hand grasp, but still allow the user to um, move their wrist. And by the end of this project, we hope to implement these algorithms for individuals who do use partial hand prosthesis um, so that they, such that they would be able to perform all these different hand grasps, but maintain the ability to move their wrist.